Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. Disney invited me out so I can introduce you to some remarkable cast members. And then also the Crystal Palace brought back their character dining. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is absolutely gorgeous out today. The temperature is in the high 60s and it's like the perfect day to come to Magic Kingdom. I woke up this morning, I saw the weather and I was like, oh yeah, it is a Magic Kingdom kind of day. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Disney invited me out so I can introduce you guys to some remarkable cast members and we're going to get a chance to talk to them and hear some of their stories and learn a little bit about them. And also I'm very excited to go to the Crystal Palace and see Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and Tigger so it's going to be an amazing day. Our reservation for the Crystal Palace isn't for another hour or so, so we're gonna have to come back, but I am so excited that the characters are back. And also they decorated for uh, Halloween and fall. They have pumpkins actually, look at You got little pumpkins in the planters. Pumpkins in the planters. <laughs> We're going to make our way over to Adventureland so I can introduce you to our first cast member we're going to talk to today. And she is a Jungle Cruise skipper. One of the best roles, I feel, in Walt Disney World. And she's going to share with us some of her stories of being a cast member, being a Jungle Cruise skipper, and then maybe we'll go ride the Jungle Cruise afterwards. So I'm very excited. Here is Kenzie from Sycamore, and she is a Jungle Cruise skipper, but you have many roles, right? What is your favorite role? Um, so, not to be biased, but I feel like Jungle Cruise is where I belong. Like, it is very fun to be out there and telling jokes all day, getting, you know, getting to take guests out into the jungle and have a silly goose time is mostly where I'm at. A silly goose time, I love I that. Like having a silly goose time. That's awesome. Yeah. What other roles do you have? Yeah, so I'm also over at the Haunted Mansion and I do the guest flow team in Liberty Square sometimes. Um, oh, that's very cool. Well, what is your favorite joke or line to say as a Jungle Cruise skipper? <laughs> that, that is a hard one, but I think my favorite would have to be when you enter the elephant pool, there is um, some beautiful visual gags done by Mark Davis, of course. So we have the classic two elephants um, that are right in front of um, a bigger elephant turned around. So we get to say it's two babies bathing under a full moon. Uh, I think it's so silly. <laughs> <laughs> silly goose. Yeah. Ah, I like it. Very cool. Have you, do you have a special memory where you got to make magic or you had magic made for you? Yes, absolutely. Actually, my favorite magical moment I ever got to experience, um, I had a magical moment task, which is something we get to do sometimes, where um, they kind of send us out in the land to try to find a family that we can make a magical moment for. Um, so I was given a... Um, pirate coin and I went over into the Pirates Caribbean area trying to find someone who is like very into pirates that I can make a magical moment for, take them right onto pirates, maybe take them right onto jungle. Um, I ended up finding this little kid who was decked out in all pirates gear. I um, even got Captain Jack Sparrow to be in on it with me, so Captain Jack gave him this coin. We made it seem like it was this big event, like the, the hidden coin of, you know, whatever, the Caribbean, so he gets to use that to like um, go and brave Barbosa on the ride and he ended up being like super cool Jack asked him what his pirate name was he goes by mr. Bones or captain bones and he had like this whole backstory of Captain Bones and then we got to have him come down here and go out on a jungle cruise with me and like even the whole crew um, Down here we got them to like be in line for when Captain Bones came down He like walked along and was like making sure that they knew who was boss and we took him out in the boat and he was a hoot like he just like got so that is the a... theming wow yeah. captain bones is my favorite kid ever that is like probably one of the coolest magic moments i've ever heard of awesome that is so cool yeah. well, thank you kenzie thank yeah. you for being a cast member and thank you for making magic i hope you have a great day oh my gosh you too thank you so much <laughs> bye, bye. Kenzie 
Lindsay is a rock star and it was so awesome for her to share her stories with us and to be able to say that you are a Jungle Cruise skipper and work at the Haunted Mansion, that is incredible. I mean, I want to be at that point one day. I think that is absolutely amazing. And Captain Bones, if you got to see this, that is so awesome that you got a shot out there. And now I think we can actually make our way over to Jungle Cruise and go for a little cruise. So thank you, Kenzie. That was really amazing. And you're, you're really wonderful. Here comes our boat. Looks like we're gonna be on the Nile Nelly. The Nile Nelly. I wish we can ride with Kenzie, but I think she left for the day. So we're gonna have to keep our eye out for the elephants because she said that was her favorite. Let me know in the comment section, if you were a cast member, what would be your dream role? Like, where would you want to make magic at? Would you want to work at a certain attraction, in a restaurant, or at a show? Let me know what yours is. Let me know in the comment section. I think that's a fun thing to ask. And now it's time for uh, a little jungle cruise. I don't want to. Okay, and now it looks like we are clear. underneath the full duck, moon. Duck, duck, duck. Sorry guys, I thought I saw a duck over there. Sorry, sorry, sorry guys, sorry. How about everyone does their favorite animal noise all at once on the count of three? I like it. Is everyone ready? Can everyone do it? Okay, ready? Ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Caca, caca. Okay, guys, that was weak. That was really weak. We need to do a little louder. Hey, oh, Amelia's ready. I mean, look at Amelia. Amelia's ready. Okay, guys. fun and it was awesome when the little girl was yelling out elephant so the skipper I think her I think it was Skippy uh, Skipper Alley she kept on asking everyone to yell out their favorite animal noise and the one little girl just kept on yelling out elephant elephant literally hysterical as soon as I got off the Jungle Cruise, I got a notification that it was time to check in. And here we are, Crystal Palace, a buffet with character. We're going to actually see Winnie the Pooh in there. We're going to see Tigger, and we're going to see Eeyore. We're going to have some food. One of my favorite things is the fact that they have tons of Walt's favorite food items, like Walt's favorite dishes in here. And it's $59.99 a person, uh, mainly because it's a character dining buffet. And I've been here before, and I love it, and I'm just excited to see the characters.
After dinner, we're gonna go meet some more cast members and I'm excited because I think we're gonna be talking to a caretaker at the Haunted Mansion and then we're gonna ride some rides and still enjoy our day at Magic Kingdom. Oh, that's me! And just like that, we are at our table. I'm gonna give you the grand tour, show you the buffet, all the amazing food. I'm not gonna dive into like too much detail because I've done videos in the past here. It's all about the characters today. Like I'm so happy that they're back. Winnie the Pooh is my mom's favorite character. So I'm gonna say hi to him for her. And also I love Eeyore. Like I love Eeyore. So it's gonna be fun, but we're gonna head up to the buffet and uh, get ourselves a plate. <laughs> The Crystal Palace is just so beautiful. Like the inside, I love it in here. And, and I've been here for when it first, I was actually here the last night the parks were open and then I came the first day it reopened. Then I came again the first day it went back to the buffet. And now I'm like a week and a half late to when the characters come back, but it's in full function in the full way it was meant to be. Looks like we got some country fried chicken with black pepper gravy, honey Tabasco sauce, and this is one of Walt's favorite. And then we have Walt's mashed potatoes and Walt's green beans with bacon and onions. All of those are everything I like, so we're gonna grab some right now. Look at this piece right here. Oh, much too good. Grab a little Walt's mashed potatoes, scoop seed potato. Then we've got some mahi mahi, some rice. Look at all this food. Everything looks amazing. This looks like something new. I think it's shrimp creole, but look at them shrimps in there. I'm all about the shrimp in business. Gonna grab a couple of them, add them to the plate, give me some shrimps. And then also, I love these rainbow carrots. Look at these glazed rainbow carrots. Everything looks phenomenal. And also some grits. We also have oven roasted chicken and Italian sausage with peppers and onions. I'm all about the peppers and onions on sausage here. Oh boy, this is much too good. This is everything I love right here. They used to have chicken wings on the buffet, but I think they took those away. And one of my favorite things though is the prime rib. They actually have a carving station with prime rib and it is so phenomenal. All right. We'll definitely be back up to get some of that prime rib. And they also have some pork loin too. I got a full plate, so I can't really get anything else. I also want to try Walt's chili. Walt's chili is right there. We're gonna be a lot of food. We're gonna we're gonna get a lot. I don't want to go too hard because I don't want to get full because we're gonna hang out in Magic Kingdom afterwards. But there are a lot of things on this buffet that I love. And the price changed because when I came last, there was no characters. And I think it was like $39 a person. Now it's, like I said, $59.99. That character price tag is heavy. And that's everywhere. I mean, it's a universal price, either at any of the character dinings. In fact, I think uh, some of them are more expensive. Like I'm pretty sure Storybook Dining is more expensive than $59.99. I'll have to check that, but let's dive in. Just look at this plate. We've got the chicken with the country gravy and the hot honey Tabasco. We've got some rainbow carrots, some shrimp creole, some sausage and peppers, and some of Walt's mashed potatoes. Look at that. Me personally, I feel like this is my favorite buffet. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like it. They want to see like special things on the buffet, but you give me prime rib, fried chicken, sausage and peppers, Walt's mashed potatoes, Walt's chili, all on a buffet, I am all in. And like I said, they used to have wings on the buffet. And also they have the shrimp creole. A lot of things I love, and I cannot get enough of these rainbow carrots. Looks like our first character is here. It's Piglet. Look at that. Hi Piglet, how are you? Are you having a good day? Yeah? It's a friendship day. Yes! <laughs> well, I'm, I'm so happy to see you here again. It's been a while and, uh, oh, yeah, I like, I like your ears. Yeah, and it's very good and the food's great. Thank you, Piglet. My mom says hello. She told me to tell everyone, so I have to make sure to tell all of the friends that uh, my mom says hello. <laughs> Can we have a picture? Yeah? All right. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys think it's kind of corny 
that I say hi to the characters for my mom. But let me tell you something. My mom is probably sitting at home in her recliner watching this video on her iPad right now and smiling. I guarantee it. I, gu I guarantee it. Well, I love you, mom. And I know you want to come back. So if you come back down, we're going to come here and we're going to eat and you're going to see Winnie the Pooh and all of his friends at the Crystal Palace. Just throwing that out there. Tonight there is actually a Mickey's not so scary Halloween party and I ran into my friend Jacob. Look it. This is awesome. And in that park, the uh, Mr. Morrow look. You look for Dory. You got the Roosevelt on. You got the hat. I actually have that hat too and I love it. And I have that shirt. The shirt is phenomenal. And I got glasses. You got the glasses? Oh, you don't, they're not even prescription glasses? No. Wow. There's not even lenses in there? No way. I thought there were lenses. I love it. Oh, wow. Well, you made my day. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> nice to meet you. See ya. How amazing was that? He's dressed up like me, and I thought he was just wearing glasses. There's not even lenses in there. He literally put glasses on to match the look, and I love that. So cool. What a great day. Everything I've eaten so far has been exceptional. The sausage, the rainbows, I ate all the shrimp. I haven't dived into the chicken yet and I should be getting there soon because I don't want it to get soggy. I want it to have like a little crisp and it's looking like it is still. Yeah, so we're good. But uh, I think ticker's coming. Uh oh. One of the worst things that could happen during a character dining is the character come over to the table and you're mid-bite and he can't say anything or if you do say something, you're like, boom, 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 boom. So we need this quick. There he is, there is Tigger. I'm so excited to see you, I've been very excited. I saw you from the outside. Yeah, I saw you outside, like you stand out. You definitely, <laughs> it's the stripes, yep. But I'm so happy to see you again. You're one of my favorites. My mom says hello, gotta, gotta let you know. She, she's a big fan and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see you. Aw, thanks, nigga. <laughs> You're the best, seriously. Thank you, can we do a photo? Yeah, all right. Back to the chicken business. It is amazing. It's not hot because it does say like hot honey sriracha, but it's not that hot at all, and I love it. Very, very good. Walt would be proud. <laughs> Hi, Eeyore. Are you having a gloomy day today? No? It's a good day. It's a friendship day. I love it. I like to go to your gloomy place sometimes. It's a good place to go and be gloomy, but I love it. Thank you, Eeyore. You're my favorite. I'm so happy that I got to see you today. Seriously, <laughs> making my day. My mom says hello. <laughs> Looks like we're clear to head back up to the buffet before Pooh comes over. I wanna get some prime rib and show you the salad bar and then also the kid section because I like the kid food too. And then don't forget, we still got dessert and there is a lot of dessert and one of my all time favorite desserts here. Here is the kids buffet and I like how they have it down low like it's an actual kids buffet. And we got some chicken nug nugs, mac and cheese, cheesy pizza bread, and then miniature beef quesadilla. And then over here, we've got the salad section and the bread section, and they got the good pretzel rolls, which I'm gonna grab one of those to eat with my prime rib. And then they got a nice selection of salads and all the different dressings. And then over here, you got peel and eat shrimp. All you can eat, peel and eat shrimp. Isn't that cool? I like it. We came up here for the prime rib and I don't want to load up my plate until I get the prime rib on there and the red, the red wine au jus. Au jus. <laughs> uh, we'll do some prime rib, a little bit of both. Look at that. We enjoying everything so far? I saw you plate earlier. Oh yeah. I was waiting to come back because I didn't have room for the prime rib but oh, that's the way. Then we got horseradish cream, red wine au jus, and uh, savory peach chutney on both sides of me, my friend. Peach chutney? I'm yes, all about sir. that. It's right there in front. It goes well with both kinds of meat. I'm game. Thank you. Well, my friend, if you need anything, let us know. Will do. I almost missed Winnie the Pooh. I got to make it back to my table. Hi, Winnie. See you in a little bit. <laughs> I had to rush back to the seat because I couldn't miss Winnie the Pooh and I seen him like I was watching him. I was watching Pooh from the buffet 
like waiting to see if he'd come by the table. And then I walked past him and I whispered, I'll see you soon, Winnie. And he looked at me. He looked at me, so he's coming. Oh, Winnie literally just got to my table and then left. I think he's going to do his dance. I missed him by a second. I rushed back over. And he literally made him right here and then he has to leave. But he'll be back around. He's coming soon. I think they're actually going to do their friendship dance or friendship march. The hip hip hooray! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the hip hip hooray was really fun. I love that. Now, because Winnie the Pooh, uh, they did their hip hip hooray, they're gonna go away for a little bit and then they'll come back out. So we have time that we can try some of Walt's chili right here. Look at this. Tastes like Walt Disney. The chili is phenomenal. Now we're gonna take a little prime rib here and we're gonna let our prime rib sit in our au jus. This is the way. There we go. It's gonna sit in here. Let it just sit for a little bit. Here we go. Soaked up all that au jus and it's ready to go. I love prime rib. It is so good. Oh, and this one is to die for. There is Pooh Bear. So happy to see you. My mom is a big, big fan. Gotta say, I am too, but my mom loves Winnie. Loves you, loves you. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be back here. I hope you're having a great day. I seen your hip hip hooray parade and that was fantastic. It was very, very nice. And uh, the food is amazing. Friendship day is the best. I love it. Well, thank you, Winnie. Oh, I get a hug? Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> now let's head back up and show you guys the desserts. And one of the desserts is the uh, butterscotch popcorn. And it's one of Walt's favorite desserts. And I love it. It's one of my favorite desserts too. So I'm definitely going to be getting some of that. Here are the desserts. And of course, we've got the butterscotch popcorn. I mean, the butterscotch pudding. And it comes with popcorn. Definitely get one of those. We got a blueberry dome strawberry shortcake, a s'mores tart, which is over here, and then we've got French silk cupcake, and I think that's it, yeah. And, oh, and also we have some hot stuff over here too. I think they have like a hot apple cobbler and uh, some cookies. Literally all those desserts and all I got was the butterscotch pudding. It is so good, I love it. They even serve this over at the uh, Firework dessert party. Like you can actually get this during the firework dessert party and I love it. So we are just about finished here at the Crystal Palace, but before we go, I wanted to show you how cute the little restroom waiting area is. Look at this little sign right here, and then they have the restrooms here, and look at this. I love it in here. Isn't it so nice? <laughs> Look at these little couches. I call it a restroom waiting area because I don't know what else to call it. You got the men's room and the women's room right there. So what are you doing here? The Crystal Palace was phenomenal. So good and all the characters were great. It's so nice to see them back. It's so nice to see everything coming back. You know what I mean? I think they announced the Norway character dining is coming back. And then also uh, they uh, talked about Kona coming back and another one. And I kind of just noticed there was a squirrel almost crawling up my back there. So I lost my train of thought. But anywho's, now we're gonna go meet another cast member. I'm trying not to move, but I am surrounded by squirrels. I got squirrels to the front, squirrels to the back. This one's got an acorn in its mouth. You ever see a squirrel eat before?
here is Fletcher from Michigan and he is a haunted mansion caretaker. How did you end up going from living in Michigan to uh, being a caretaker here at the haunted mansion? Well, uh, it's funny, I was actually supposed to stick around and study animation for a little longer, but my brother just graduated uh, his college with musical theater and he wanted to come to Disney. And he said he didn't want to do it alone, so he kind of dragged me along and uh, yeah, I ended up here and it's a great time. That's awesome. What's one of your favorite little details about the Haunted Mansion? Ooh, about the Haunted Mansion? Oh, it was the first one ever built here in Disney World, and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah? First, first ride ever built. Um, I don't know, that's a, that's a good question. I think my favorite thing about the mansion is um, when you're in the stretch room, uh, the very first, like the pre-show, and you disappear and you reappear, and there's this second where full-grown adults forget that you just walked. They just believe in magic for like two seconds. It's the, pretty much the coolest part. That is really cool. That is awesome. Have you ever had a magical moment either happen to you or did you have an opportunity to make a magical moment for someone else? Yeah. So actually it was funny, just yesterday actually, I was standing out at Greeter where you're just talking to guests and this family comes up, they're like, can we, can we park our mom right here? <laughs> they're little old ladies sitting in her wheelchair. Um, and I was taken aback, I was like, yeah, if, if you want to park your mom here, I guess you can. Me and this little old lady talked for an hour and a half about all sorts of art. She's from Indiana. She was a fine artist. I'm an animator. So we just like clicked and it was fun. I just talked, we ch exchanged uh, Instagrams. Really? Yeah. That is that is literally a magic moment <laughs> yeah, right now. Moment. That, yeah, she's going to remember that forever. Yeah. And I'm sure you already do too. Yeah, that is Lopez. so, Mrs. Lopez, Mrs. Oh, look Lopez. at that. We'll always know. <laughs> that is so awesome. What, what would you say is your favorite thing about working for Disney? About working for Disney? Well, it doesn't hurt getting into the parks for free. Being yeah. To go to the parks whenever I want is a really good time. Um, honestly, for me, I'm a really big into storytelling. That's why I went into animation. Uh, and I think Disney does a really cool job with that. There's like fitting the theme. I like being on stage versus backstage and uh, really having the overall story that people are being told as they go through the parks, like passes through time and like over overall stuff like that, if that makes any sense. <laughs> no, I, I, I get it totally. Well. Yeah. Thank you, Fletcher. Thanks for being a cast member. Thanks for making magic, and I hope you have a great day. Yeah. Yeah, have see fun. ya. <laughs> so, Fletcher is awesome. I mean, that is so cool, some of the stories he was talking about. And also, he had a whole bunch of different, like, uh, keys and a pocket watch, all for his costume. And it's really cool how Haunted Mansion caretakers get to, like, kind of add to the experience and dress up as long as it's a part of the theme. And one of the things he had was a bunch of keys. And he said he likes walking around the stretching portrait room. And you can hear his keys, like, jingle as he, like, walks around and that that is so amazing and uh, yeah very cool very awesome haunted mansion is uh, one of those roles where i would absolutely love to do so both seeing a, a skipper and a caretaker and actually uh she was actually a skipper and a caretaker which is mind-blowing and now i think we're gonna go ride the haunted mansion hop aboard a dune buggy and uh have fun I am so excited to ride the Haunted Mansion, especially after I was sitting there talking to Fletcher about some of the cool details and facts, and I just like looking at it. Look at it. Isn't she a butte, Clark? Your cadaverous pallor betrays an aura of foreboding. Almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Time to hop aboard one of the doom buggies. I wish Gracie would hop in her doom buggy. And heed this warning. The spirits will materialize.
awesome was that? We actually get stopped in the graveyard, so I was able to stop and focus in on some of the animal uh, animatronics, and that was really cool. I love I love getting stopped in certain areas of Haunted Mansion and just like staring and looking. Like you know what I mean? I'm obsessed with animatronics, so like being able to just stare at them without having to move fastly as you go by, that was very cool. And now it's time to make our way back down Main Street. We got one more uh, cast member to talk to, and uh, then I think we're gonna call it a night. Can we just take a second and appreciate how the sun is hitting the castle right now? Isn't that gorgeous? And then we've got the pond here. You can see the reflection of the castle. Look at that. What a beautiful day today is, honestly. I'm loving the weather, I'm loving the sun. It's perfect, a perfect fall day at Magic Kingdom. The next cast member we're gonna go meet is at the front of the park because she is with guest relations and that is something really awesome. I mean, we got to you know talk to a skipper from the Jungle Cruise and a caretaker at the Haunted Mansion, but guest relations is really deep like that's a big big role so i'm very intrigued to hear some stories that she's gonna share with us and we're gonna head up to the front of the park and meet her now all right and here is katie from kentucky and you work guest relations right yes i do i'm guest relations and the guest experience team magic Kingdom. well that's really awesome so how did you end up going from kentucky to working for disney never been to Disney uh, when I was a little kid. I always wanted to come, but it was just too far away from my family. Um, but I actually got to come for my senior trip in high school, and whenever we were there, we got to go on a backstage tour of the Safari and Animal Kingdom, and the cast members talking to us about how Disney hires from every background, every job, every opportunity. There's so many different things that you can do here. And I was like, okay, that's where I'm going. And so I went to college at the University of Kentucky and then I did a college program down here and I never looked back. I love that. Yeah. What's your favorite Disney ride? Um, if I have to pick one, I would say probably Guardians of the Galaxy. Really? Yes. Going I, new school here. I know, I know. Controversial. I know. So fun. I mean, no, Guardians is a great ride though. Yes. Absolutely love it. And what is your favorite thing about living in Florida, moving down, working for Disney? You know, every day is a different day. You never know what's going to happen when you get here. And that's what I think keeps us exciting, keeps me looking forward to coming into work every day. And I have the opportunity to do whatever I want as far as like make magic for the guests and help them have, you know, a magical time, a magical vacation here. That's what we're all about. So it's really fun making to magic. Yeah. I love that. What what is your favorite making magic moment? I love making magic with the guest experience team because I'm actually out in the park and I can see what issues are kind of happening in the park. So it's nice to if, you know, a kids crying because they really wanted to get on a ride, I can go put them on that ride. Or if they're crying because they spilled their popcorn, I can get them a new popcorn. You know, I can I'm free to do as much as I can for the guests. I have like very small limitations. <laughs> I love that. That's the best. Well, yeah. thank you, Katie. Yeah, I appreciate it so much. Yeah. I hope you have a great day. Yeah, you too. Katie from Kentucky was really cool. Great to hear some awesome stories. She got to make some magic and Guardians of the Galaxy is her favorite ride. And that's really cool. I mean, it's a really awesome ride. I do love Guardians of the Galaxy. And overall, my whole entire day today has been fantastic. Getting to meet all of these cast members and hear a little bit of what it's like to work for Disney. You know, eventually that's my goal in life. I wanna, I wanna retire and I wanna work for Disney. I said this from the beginning beginning. Back in the days, even when I was just a restaurant manager, a cook, uh, I wanted to <laughs> move to Florida, work for Disney, be a monorail pilot or a boat captain, and that's what I want to do. I mean, end game is that. That's my end game. So a lot of people, you know, are you know, a lot of people always ask me, what am I going to do? I mean, I really, you know, can't make videos or vlogs forever. I mean, I will keep on making the videos as long as people keep watching them, you know what I mean? And I'll probably keep on making them even when people stop watching them. But overall, where I want to see myself in, you know, 
years to come is here in the place that makes me happy working in Disney World and I'm excited for that day I think it's gonna be great uh, I, I'd be happy like I said monorail is probably my dream my dream job my dream my dream role is definitely probably the monorail and uh, it's really awesome to talk to some cast members today so thank you Disney for inviting me out and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it and we'll see you next time Bye!